we back? Today, I can only use players that I drafted. We're starting off with nothing but Josh McCrackens, if you know, you know. And my job is to turn this team of 40 overalls to a complete roster that can win a championship, but only using people that are auto-generated and that we drafted. I always love doing these type of videos because you can see what type of characters 2K can put together. Since this is such a heavy draft video, I need to make sure that my staff is the best in the game when it comes to scouting. And I'm a cheapskate, so I'm not going to give you the most amount of money. I'm going to give you just enough of your interest meters good. Because they are how you start off with 197 million. And he'd be willing to accept 161 million. So, like, why would I... Wait, 161 million. 1.61 million. That, that made it seem like we gave that boy the biggest bag of all time. We definitely got to get a for, at least one foreign scout because you don't want to miss out on the next Giannis Dettacumpo because you ain't got nobody in those other leagues. So, yeah, we're going to do that. And I'm going to make sure that we, we win the draft every single season. Of course, I can make trades to get other draft picks if I need to. Um, but that's for later in the video. We don't need to worry about this season. Okay, so we got four scouts plus the head scout. So we shouldn't miss nothing. Let's take a look at the draft class. The number one draft prospect is Judd Barnes. Judd is a 7 to 19 year old I like the idea of that. We got to do a little bit of scouting. And like he's going to be cool. You see, look, I've done enough 2K videos and played 2K 23 to 22 to 21. You get the idea. When it comes to these draft prospects, usually the super good centers are really good three-point shooters. Now, I mean, he's an average three-point shooter, which is good. Um, this guy right now has a C plus, also 19 years old, and he's got that torch. Matthew Fly. Okay. We got to get to this simulation. We're going to go this first season. We're going to go 0-82. We're going to have a... Was it 14? It was a 16% chance at first overall pick. And we're probably not going to get it. But we got to do what we got to do to win a championship eventually. Will it be three years? Probably not. Would it be 20 years? All right. So I am extremely excited about this draft class. We don't care about none of this. We're not a team in the playoffs. We're a lottery team. So who cares about who wins the championship? It was Zion and the Pelicans. That center that we was talking about, a lot better than what they was telling us. All right. So we have a 14% chance of getting this first overall pick. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit scared because obviously I don't have a great track record with keeping my pick at number one. And this is the draft you want number one. I, I did the scouting. This is the draft. The lowest we can drop is what, five? I think that's how it works. So all of these before here don't matter to me. The Pistons moved up, which means that somebody moved out. I feel like that somebody's going to be me. I feel like that somebody's going to be me. I'm already, I'm already, I'm already seeing it. I'm already ready to move to pick number five. Here we go. It's going to be the Houston Rockets. Okay. Now the fourth pick was supposed to be them. That's probably me. Yep. I saw it happening from a mile away. I saw it happening from a, from a mile away. We have the fourth overall pick. This guy is ridiculous. But we also got a dude in, in this potential second round. I don't, I, I mean... I don't really have the assets to trade up to one, unfortunately. So we got to settle for four. Because it wouldn't be smart, even though this dude is that good. Or actually, we should have had a conversation. Even, this dude is so good, maybe we should trade our next first round pick. Yeah, the Spurs aren't budging. And I can't give up two to three first round picks for it. So we got to keep it where it is with the fourth overall pick. And pray that next year is another generational type talent. I, I, can't, I can't force them to do it, man. Oh my God, they didn't even take him. Hold on. They didn't take him. Oh my God, he's still on the board. He's still on the board. One more pick. Dang, bro. How did he fall to three? You know what? I should have. That, that, that. I, okay, I need to be better. I need to be better. You know why? Because when I saw him drop one and two, I should have went out to try to trade for three. Because trading up to three probably wouldn't have been bad because we already have four. Oh my God. Oh my God. Judd Barnes, welcome to Chicago. Chicago. Can I can I steal this? Okay, they really want that pick. I don't care about it. We only had one pick, and we made it happen, ladies and gentlemen. This draft class is kind of nice, though. I wish that we had anything else of value. I could maybe throw in a future 2026 and try to move up to get a pick that's that's valuable today. Nope, nope. This draft class is deep. We got the top guy. Can we somehow snag a high second round pick? Sixth overall pick. They want a 2025 first. I mean, a 2025 second. Sure, you got yourself a deal. So we stayed in this draft in the second round. Hopefully that other guy, 
who's projected to go in the second round and still here. He's not, but we do got some other dudes like Kenny Stewart Jr. or Sean Murray or point guard Danny Jackson. I like this point guard. He's only 6'1", but he's 20, he's 21, uh, uh, he's not 21 years old like these other dudes. 23, I'm not drafting a 23-year-old in today's video, unless he's already a 90, which is not going to happen. Even 22 is old. So if I go get, like, the one of the 19-year-olds, like Nathan Cox, who might be Gary Payton II, cannot shoot, but Gary Payton II definitely can defend. Melvin Strong can shoot, and he can defend really well, but he's only 6'1". So how good of a defender can you really be if you're only 6'1"? This guy has five badges. He's a little bit on the older side, but he's a knockdown shooter. Jackson Myers, knockdown shooter. Catch and shoot, corner specialist, guard up, slippery off ball, mismatch expert. He might end up being like a Mitch Richmond type. We might have to go in and get that. The badges are usually indicators of somebody being really, really good or eventually being really, really good. This guy's also a knockdown shooter, but he's only a three-point shooter, while the other dude... Wherever the heck he was, could also hit the mid range. The defense is a lot to be desired. We're gonna we're gonna draft Jackson Myers out of Purdue, and I think we won the draft. Personally, 84 overall rook, and then Jackson Myers 70. Was that say 73? 73 should both make all rookie teams for sure. I love our draft. I love our draft. Okay, so next year um, probably won't have this deep of a draft, but we'll take how good this ended up being. This is what coach wants. Them to play 43 and 44 minutes. I ain't mad at you, coach. Go ahead and get, well, we, we lost, but 34 rebounds for our guy Judd Barnes. He should run away. He should run away with rookie of the year. Considering how many minutes he's gonna be playing. Oh my god. Um, he didn't hit the shots, but he was he almost had a five by five. He needs one more assist for a five by five. If he just had one other teammate that can hit a shot, he would have had a five by five game in his second game of his NBA career. Our guy Jackson is hitting shots too. I mean, they might go against each other for the rookie of the year because they both in a position to be great. 18 points per on some solid shooting so far. And then um, Judd is not shooting at all well. But that 26 rebounds, three, three steals, three uh, blocks is pretty good. All right, will we win a game this season? I doubt it, but if we do, I'll show you. Joel B wins MVP. Rookie of the year goes to Judd, who averages 18, 25, 3, 2, and 2 and a half. Don't look at the shooting splits. They ain't great for a big man, but regardless, Judd is nice like that, all right? He also won, def he also won Defensive Player of the Year as a rook. Yeah, it's over. I mean, it just started, but we got our, our cornerstone. He made an all-NBA team as a rookie, and I'm assuming... Oh, all defensive team, obviously, because he won a defense play of the year. But the rookie team also going to have our guy Jackson, who averaged 15, 6, and 3. And again, those are good shooter splits for a rookie that is supposed to come in and score. He did a really, really good job. Now, I know that they had a bunch of minutes, so their numbers are going to look better than a lot of people's. But, like, still, DPOY is ridiculous. Jalen, oh, James Harden went back to Houston. You don't know that's insane, considering the rumors that was going around on Christmas. James Harden went back to Houston, and they won a championship in that first year. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. They also had this guy who was the 11th overall pick. Um, but whoa, that's some, that's something. That's something, Houston Rocket fans. I, I don't know what it is, but it's definitely something. All right, so let's see where we are in the draft lottery. I'm not going to watch this entire thing. We're just going to get through it. We won a total of zero games this season, and we retain the first overall pick. Beautiful. I did scout him, but I didn't even really look at it. So let's take a look at this draft board. The project, oh my God, there's another 80 plus overall center in here. He's 22, um, so I'm going to guess his potential is not high. Dave Cohen's Pal Gasol, that sounds pretty good to me, but he's projected to go eight. The projected first overall pick is Bernie Cannon, who has Kyrie Irving's ceiling or Lou Williams' floor. Now, that is a huge difference. Second, projected second overall pick is, is Damian Anderson. Third overall pick is, is Mac Erickson. This draft is cool. I want, I want Glenn Jameson. He's 5'10", though. Mm. He's 5'10", which is not good, but, but we support Short Kings on this channel. I might be able to trade down to around four, and they want Judd. I mean, you got to chill. All right, let's go talk to the Suns about pick number four, because that, you know, we, we should maximize our assets. I'll give you one, and then you give us back also, like, Ricky Rubio and a future second or something. They want to first. See, yeah, now we're going, we going a little bit too far. My thought process is I can flip Ricky Rubio for another pick. We might just have to reach and take our guy with the first overall pick. 
We're going to get to the draft. I'm going to trade finder again once we get to the draft because, you know what I'm saying, people might get a little bit more thirsty about it. This guy's supposed to have to go 23. What? Whoa. There's so many talents. Chris Webber? Chris Webber or Clark Kellogg? This guy's a... Uh, whoa. I See, this is such a... We this is why I like doing these videos because 2K generates some weird people. This guy's a defending beast, but he's also a great playmaker at the two. He can't really score like that. But I wonder that it, since his playmaking is so good, could we move him over to the one and train him to be a point guard? Now, the perimeter defense is he's 6'8". This guy's projected 10th overall pick. Hold on, Don Norris. We might trade down and get Don Norris. Projected to go 13th according to Draft Express. 7th overall here. 6th overall here. So he's he's going up the draft boards again. All right, let's let's go try to get the fifth overall pick. Then forget that short king point guard. We'll get we could get a tall point guard because I think this guy can run the one. Based on what I saw, he could potentially run the one. We'll trade the sixth overall pick potentially one for a Chris Boucher and six, and then you give us 2026 20, second. Boom, we got a deal. The Toronto Raptors just traded up. You could you, based on the value alone, you could say, dang, can he got finessed? Um, but. Don't think about that. I want another pick in this year's draft. I think this draft is crazy. I think this is another year. We got lucky. Two back-to-back -back years with a draft class is kind of deep. So we'll do that trade. And now they take Alexi Blackwell first overall. Mac Erickson goes number two. There's our guy. He went third. So, you know, we'll look out for you. We'll look out for you. Frank House, please don't draft Norris here. Thank you. Norris stays on the board. Enough. Man, these guys look so good. But Norris stays on the board. We're going to draft our guy, Norse, and we're going to feel really good about it. We're going to feel really good. We got our guy. At the end of the day, even if he ain't a stud, we got our guy. And that's all you want when you're going through these drafts, man. Get your guy. I love our draft. I love our draft. We got another guy down here. Um, and Randy w uh, Wingate, he's, he's only a 74, but he had projected to be, does it tell you that? Just protect, projected to be the greatest defender of all time. Greatest perimeter defender of all time. Um, if everything goes well with his progression. We got our guy Don Norris. So here's the moment of truth with Don. If we make Don a, t a one, his overall goes up. Oh my God, I'm king drafter. I'm king drafter in this mug, bro. We we in this. And we're at number 25. I don't really like tattoos like that. But we went at number 25 here in Chicago. Our core looks cool. We'll move uh, Randy over to the three. I know uh, Myers um, is saying that he don't want to resign. That ain't really up to you, Mr. Guy. Two 19-year-olds in this draft. Both of them might be studs. I'm excited. I'm just excited. Let's look at prayer progression to see where Judd and uh, Myers ended up. I think that's his name. I'm already forgetting names. Plus four, plus three. 17 badges, 14 badges, sharpshooter, shot creator. Whew, you love to see that. He looks angry in his picture, too. Judd is just as happy as can be. Judd is just as, as happy as can be. All right. I feel good about this year. We sh I was going to say we should win a game, but we still do have roster spots. What is it? Five through whatever that that are 40 overalls. I have a strategy for next year's draft, though, and I'll, I don't know if it'll work. I got to release two people um, to make the roster spots fit. I don't know if it'll work, but I got a strategy for this year's draft, um, even though we're going to be bad again. Like, look at this, bro. Look at this. We look good. Um... Just, just, you know what? I would rather him play out of position than the rest of my guys. They all want to get about 40 minutes per. They're in a good spot. We won a game, by the way. We won, we beat the Knicks by by six. Slow, grinded out game. Our guy Norris, man. I mean, he can't really score like that. At least that's what you think. But he had five threes. I'm, I'm ecstatic about that pickup, bro. He, again, he, you know, he really can't score like that. But, like, I'm ecstatic about that pickup. Judd's numbers... Oh man, we won our first game in three in two and a half seasons, baby. We excited about this. We still gonna have the highest draft odds, whatever, but we good. We're solid. The Don. Mr. Mr. Norris, 22, 5 and 5, about two steals. We love that. DPOY was that second year in a row for our guy Judd, 20 and 20. Man, come on, man. He's still not shooting it efficiently. In due time, though, because he'll have to he'll take less shots because we're gonna have more people around him. So you just got, we just got to give it time, baby. We got to give it time. We won a total of that one game early in the season against the Knicks. After that, we lost every single game. It's okay. I got a strategy for this year to, to, to improve this, to make this go by a little bit faster. Shea versus Evan Mobley in the NBA Finals is going to go to Evan Mobley and Darius Garland and this player. They got a lot of people on their team. Draft lottery. Here we go. First overall pick. 
Two years in a row? Same thing as last year. I didn't do a lot of scout. I mean, I did scouting, but I wasn't paying attention. Projected first overall pick is a 71 overall with zero badges. Absolutely not. Um, so this is my strategy for this year. I'm going to try to make trades to get as many picks as possible for this season. Because what I'm realizing, or what I knew, of course, is that this right here is going to take us 15 years. And by that time, Judd is going to be old and maybe not even want to resign. So we need to just get players, get bodies. Even if they don't have the potential to be superstars or something like that, we just need to do our best to just accumulate the most amount of picks imaginable. And I think part of that is trading away the first overall pick. Because again, this is a draft that don't have a superstar player at least on top. And getting a pick that's also in this draft, but it gives us a future one. But I would prefer... I mean, just trade down for two to get that. Maybe that is the right deal. Or, or should we be thinking about a player instead of a future pick? And we can turn that player into a pick? Or something like that. I'm still trying to figure out exactly how, to, how this strategy works. Um, but like, okay, third overall pick and Shake Milton might be do might be the one that we do. 15th trade offer. We got some cool stuff in here though for the first overall pick. It's kind of dope. But I think, okay, so we're gonna do the 15th trade offer, right? Trade down to number three and this draft ain't that bad because it's a lot. I think there's gonna be a lot of depth again. So we're gonna put Milton in the trade finder and hopefully get a pick. The best we could get is a second round, eighth overall pick. But the way the second round picks have been in this video, we'll take that because we can just flip Precious again and potentially get another one. I need to have, I think, at least five picks. I think that's my goal for today. Get at least five picks in this draft. Even if four of them are second rounders. Dang, that's Kawhi Leonard right there, my boy. Um, but look, trading up to the 13th overall pick. But this leaves us without a player. We'll, we'll do it. You know why? Because we'll just trade away, what was it, the Pelicans pick and get a player back. We don't need that one for next season. We good. We're fine. Maybe. Watch the Pelicans get the first overall pick or whatever pick supposed to be theirs. So we got five picks. That's exactly what we wanted. Three second rounders, two first rounders. And we can just go into this draft and just pick the people that we believe is best for the, for the occasion. Um, that's just how I'm thinking. Is that smart? I don't know. Uh, Raymond Berry is the first overall pick out of St. Mary's from Cali. Uh, Everett Ham Hammonds is the second pick. And now here we go. I mean, if we're going strictly based on ability, Terrence McCoy is the guy. But obviously, he's 23 years old already, so maybe we shouldn't do that. Um, we might be able to get him when our second first-round pick. But, I mean, it don't like he do nothing. I mean, he's athletic as heck. Rise up. Yeah, he's athletic as heck. But do we care about that? I don't know. He's got the highest overall, something to think about. The projected first overall pick guy is still here. Because he's, he's not very good. I mean... I understand why he's here. A lot of these dudes are still here. This is one of those drafts that there's no consensus one, two, three, or four. You just got to go out there and draft the people you think work best for you. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to look at like this guy can shoot. Uh, he would come off the bench for us. Third overall pick just, just to shoot the ball. He's a big part of basketball, but he's only 20 years old. All right, Trent Parker, welcome to the team, man. Welcome to the team. Is that the right pick? We're going to find out. So like, yeah, Steve Dawson is here. Great shooter. I'm, I'm drafting him. I'm drafting him. Get to the second round. Justin Stewart don't have the greatest potential, but if we trying to have somebody that can help us win now, he does that. I, I drafted the wrong dude. Please tell me the other guy. Oh, he's gone. I drafted the wrong guy with that previous picks. All right. Well, we're just going to go with this guy instead. Oh, I'm so frustrated. Because the other guy, I mean, I don't know if he was going to be good anyway, but this was the accidental draft. We wanted this guy. I was going to move him over to the four. He looked like... Like, kind of nice. He looked kind of nice, bro. Interior defense, solid block, decent rebounder. I thought we move him over to the foe, he will be maximized. But instead, we got this guy who is a three-level scorer, so he can do that. It, it don't matter. I don't. I just think we needed bodies, and we got a bunch of them, even though the majority of them are power forwards. We got a bunch of bodies now. So now we have um, Nelson at the one. We can release, like, three. Not him. Oh, my God. We just almost released the wrong dude. We can release a lot of these Joshua. So... Um, we got two wings, we got two power fours and two centers, man. We have a legit nine-man rotation at the moment, which is the best we've had. So I think we definitely win more games this season, ladies and gentlemen. We gonna do it! And when I say it, I just mean win more than one game for the first time ever. Uh, took us a couple years, but we're here. Judd only goes up one, which is a little scary, but Don goes up five, which is dope. And Jackson, bro, please, please just be, be happy with your situation. Um... Because he keeps saying he don't want to resign, but luckily we have his rights and stuff. We just need to get him on a, a long-term deal, and he'll be fine. Because we about, actually, we're going to start winning. We're going to start winning this season somewhat, and um, he should be fine after that. Like, this is a real lineup and rotation. No 40 overall players are playing anymore, ladies and gentlemen. 
Not a single 40 overall player. First game of the season is a win. The boys are here. And guess who it is? It's our, our guy, Donnie Norris. Oh, man. Yeah, they don't want to see him take no jump. They don't want to see him take no jump because if he do, it's a scary sight for the rest of the league. I tell you that. Jaw wins MVP. This is the first time we haven't won a rookie of the year, but that's cool. I'm not I'm not sweating that. I'm not sweating that. Um, Jamal Morrisley, yada, yada, yada. I don't even know how many games we won. No All-NBA team for our guy. But again, that's a good thing. That just means that we we separated we separated the the responsibilities. Now, I'm not making all defensive teams a little bit scary. But regardless, we separated the responsibilities. Our guy Trent made an All-Rookie team. He averaged 11 and shot it well. Um, Paul also did average 12 and 5. He did I. Right. Steve did it with 11. We had a lot of people here, huh? Like I said, we had five draft picks and four to make an All-NBA team. I count that as an absolute win. We won a total of... 37 games. I did not think it was that high. Um, we won a total of 37 games. Oh my God. Okay. At this rate, we're in the playoffs next season, ladies and gentlemen. At this rate, we're in the playoffs next season. We just got to hope we get there. We got one last year in the lottery. We better make the, me the most of it. Tyler Hero on LeBron James with Houston um, and the Heat end up winning it. Wow. Uh, yeah. I told LeBron he could have retired like six years ago and then he made it back to the finals. Now he's finally retiring. This time around, we have a, oh my God, that Atlanta pick is projected to be number one. It wasn't. It's number five. Dang. But we also got number nine. Now, a little birdie told me that this draft class got an absolute beast up top. And uh, I'm, I, I'm okay with running two, two bigs. Jay Sean Nicholson. We won 30, what was it, 37 games last season. I'm 100% trying to trade for that first overall pick this time. Again, because if he's that good... And we got, we got Judd, who's also a stub, but we, he might be plateauing, if you remember correctly. If I remember correctly, he um he only went up one last season. Cool. We just gave up both of our lottery picks, and we got the first overall. We got a couple in the second round, too. So we're about to have a complete, a complete roster of real people. And we have this two-headed monster in Jay Sean Nick. I didn't even see what Jay Sean Nicholson was compared to. He might have been compared to, to, to Kareem or something. I don't know. 7-3 out of Florida. The overall stats look like this. 99 shot close as a rookie. 93 midi as a rookie. Oh, yeah. What's the defense like? Show me the defense is decent. Interior, 86 is above average. Block is below average, but the steals are good. The perimeter defense is not great, but it's passable for a rookie center. This is the, this is the year we make the playoffs, ladies and gentlemen. We also got some seconds, and I scouted the second round, so we should have good quality role. Why is there so many centers every season? We'll, we'll draft um, Brandon Young, who... Is a good perimeter defender out of Marquette. Seems like Marquette does that. They they make sure they got good perimeter defenders. I mean, we don't need another center. But if you just going to be there as a 7-2 stretch that's compared to Miles Turner, we got to do what we got to do, right? W draft, if you ask me, <laughs> everybody gets a contract. Oh, my God. That center ends up being a stud. Okay. All right. Well, we feel, we feel good again about our draft. We continue to win these things. We just got to make sure everybody's coming back. Um, and that's the, that's, the, I mean, everybody, everybody's coming back and that's the last of it, baby. We're a playoff team. Are we, are we contenders though? That's the question. Well, we don't have that money to get Kevin. Are we contenders? That's the question. Jack wants 30 M's and you know what? I ain't mad at potentially giving Jack 30 M's based on his production through the first, whatever. I'm not mad at Jack getting 30 M's, bro. We just gotta, we just gotta make sure no other team try to offer him nothing. All right, moment of truth. How many of these dudes are gonna be super studs? Will we will legit be a playoff team? This playoff progression is super important for what we're trying to do today. Super important. Here we go. Jug goes up one. Jackson goes up four. Don is maybe plateaued at an 84. That's fine. We're running both of these bigs together, man. We're running them both together. And don't, I don't ask me if it's gonna work with seven two and seven three. Looks good to me. Our third overall pick jumps up to an 81. So, yeah, I think we did good. And we still got a bunch of 40s. Who could they can just go now. We got a roster. Lineup is Norris, Myers, uh, Wingate, Jayshon, Nicholson, and then Judd. Off the bench, we got Trent. We got Steve. We got Judd. We have a legit lineup, bro. And we got people that, that might be good enough to get real minutes that won't. So, that's, that's really, really, really fun. We actually don't need another center. We need another point guard. There we go. We get Brandon Young some minutes to back up point guard minutes as a rookie. Could we potentially make the... Woo-wee! 
Could we make the playoffs? Undoubtedly. The rookie comes in with a 10, 12, and 7 game. We got so much playmaking, so much defense. We should be one of the top teams now that we a week and two or two games into it. We should be one of the top teams, y'all. Did we do it? No, okay, there's a loss. I, I knew we weren't going undefeated, though. But like, here we go. Seven and two to start off. Get through that season, baby. Get through that. Oh, not the greatest week, but we gonna make it happen. Playoff times, baby. Jay, Jay Sean did his thing. Uh, winning a rookie of the year. That's beautiful. Here we go. Um, all NBA teams for anybody from Chicago Bulls. Nope. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. We didn't let some, some people slip through the cracks. Okay. He's only 22. Wait, who are you? Was this the dude that was compared to Chris Webber earlier? And I was like, oh, Chris Webber. And didn't draft him? Is this him? Yo, that's crazy. You ended up being that good. Wow. We ended up being the four seed. Uh, if you want to look at some statistics from our guys, here they go. Leading score was Jackson, because that's what he do. Judd was great as well. Assisting was our guy Don. Okay, you, you don't really care about that. First round, we're going against the, the, the Brooklyn Nets, who have DeJounte Murray and Kevin Durant playing together now. Okay, they got Igor as well, a guy that we don't know anything about. Are we better than them? Is this all-generated player team better than Kevin Durant and DeJounte Murray? The answer is yes! And, ooh, the eighth seed almost pulled off the upset, but they lost by 51 in a game seven. And, and, and Darius Garland had 22 assists in that 51-point win. Um, who are you? Jerome Atkins. I feel like I should be remembering these names, but he's a year two player and he's 26. I'm not really interested. You about to plateau very, very soon. What about the rest of the roster, though? Um, oh, really good still. But no Evan Mobley. Evan Mobley has went to a whole different team. So that's probably why they struggled. 1-1. 2-1 Cleveland, 3-1 Cleveland, 3-2. Oh, my God. I didn't think we had a chance to do something. But being down 3-1 to the number one seed and coming all the way back to force the game seven make me think there's a chance. And, and now, oh, man. Okay. Well, that chance just died. We got experience, though. That's all I can ask for. We got experience. For the first time in the video, we had let some people walk in free agency. They just wanted too much money for their production. It was Nixon, who was a backup power forward. Um, and one other guy that didn't play any minutes. So like we had to do what we had to do um, But we did bring back this the people that we care about the most I can bring back Damian Knox, I guess just because we didn't have a backup power forward and then we go into next season We hope that progression can hold us. We did not have a first round pick this season So that's why you ain't see that I also lost my hat. So that's why we're going hatless So we got two nobody 90 overall club, but two 89s and an 88 and an 87 we have an okay-ish bench-ish. Um, we actually don't need a 10. We could just run it a 9 since they're both point guards. Okay-ish bench. Our, I mean, our six man. Our, our six man is really good. We got Trina coming off the bench. Um, Wingate did not get better from his rookie season, huh? That's unfortunate. 18th overall pick, so I, it's not that much of a loss. But still a loss nonetheless. You know, he didn't progress the way we wanted him to. Near triple-double from Nicholson. I need one of these dudes to really take off. Um, it's not a good sign to lose two back-to-back -back games. Whatever. I need one of these dudes to take off because we're not going to be in conversation to get the next superstar player that becomes um, in the draft. But if you take a look at all of the auto-generated people so far, no, none of them, except for the guys on our team, have blossomed into anything. Okay, this guy's really good at 89. Um, but we got three 89s, and those are the top players that you could have got. So we've done a really good job drafting. We even got the 88. So we've done it a really, really good job drafting, but it just hasn't been enough. I know that probably the top comments is going to be like, Ken, you should lower the draft age down to 18. Eventually, we might do something like that. But look, we're winning a bunch of games. We're doing good. We might be the favorite 25 games into the season. So we'll take that. The rookie of the year this season averaged eight points per game. What a terrible draft class. I'm so happy I didn't have a, a pick this year. Because it wouldn't have been worth anything. 69 wins. We have a 99 offense, 99 defense, 99 overall. So we've done an amazing job drafting. All NBA first team for Jay Sean Nicholson. 17, about 14. And oh my, I didn't know he was like that. We don't even need a 90 plus. Oh, and this third team for John. Oh, this is the year. This is the year. This is the year. Def they not getting defensive teams or whatever. This is the season for the guys. Uh, I mean, the draft class didn't look bad on paper. Actually, 80 overall player right here. But the rookie of the year went to him because I'm guessing he's, I mean, nine and six. Is that better than eight and three? Oh, yeah, eight and six, too. And he shot terrible. It don't matter. It don't matter. Here we go. One seed, 69 games. Nice. We really, really decided 
to turn it up on these boys. Are we the best defense in basketball? <laughs> we allowed six less points than the next team. Six less than the second best defense in basketball. Offense is third. We'll take that. To have this legendary defense and the third best offense, we're in a good spot. And we ended the season on the eight game win streak. Come on, man. We're going against Boston in the first round. They still have Tatum and and, and, and Robert Williams and Malcolm Brogs on the team. But they're uh, playing a team for a reason is what I was going to say. Please just win this series. Thank you. Oh, my God. Here we go with the Washington Wizards next. Larry Tyler Hero and then Irvin Shaw, a guy that we passed up on. He's a 90. He's tied for the highest person drafted since we started this video with Judd. So he might be out for blood because we traded the pick away that was him. Triple double from our All-NBA first team, Jay Sean Nicholson. Game two is a win. Game three is a win. I'll be honest with you, Jay Sean Nicholson don't look like a Jay Sean, but he is Jay Sean, I guess. Um, again, this team lost Evan Mobley to somebody. So that wing Cam Reddit slash OB Top and looking kind of weak. Of course, they got near 390 overalls. Of course, they got that. You know what? I'm shortening my rotation specifically for this series. I, we don't have no time to play around. Let's go out there and beat them. We won 11 more games than them. Regular season-wise, we should be better. But in the playoff series, a whole different odds. Okay, no big deal. We come back in game two a win. Game three is a win. We're two games away from an NBA Finals appearance. <sighs> we got the game seven. The dreaded, dreaded game seven. Norris did everything he could in this one, bro. Wow. Who 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 didn't? I mean, Parker. Sheesh. 13 three-point attempts and you hit three of them? Oh, man. Okay. What could we potentially do? Um, It's not a lot. They, I mean, they got a double O on the bench. They got... Who? Oh, this guy won six minutes a year. Yeah, he's a killer. He won a championship already. Wait, the Cavs win last season, two seasons ago, whatever. He's won a championship already. And, and I mean, he's doing his thing. He's doing his 99-3-99 mid, bro. Oh, my God. That's insane. When you got the badge to match, 12 badges, sharpshooter. Game seven, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Game seven. Winner goes to the finals. Started off with a nice little run. Second quarter's not our, our good spot, but the second half is. Good adjustments from Billy Donovan. Great third quarter. Great fourth quarter so far. And Jay Shot Nicholson wins the Eastern Conference Player of the Year. And just year two, might I add. This is just year two for the guy. He's already led his team, led his team to an NBA Finals appearance. And he's going against the Spurs, who have Glenn Jameson, a guy that we wanted to draft. That's that short king point guard. And Dylan Sheldon, who I don't know much about, or Will William Blunt, I don't know nothing about. Um, but that short king point guard is going to get killed by Don Norris. Don Norris is 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, oh, we lose game one. What is with us in losing game ones? I, I don't understand it. We always lose game ones. I, I mean, come back game two. Thank you. Uh, and there, there's Mr. Norris. 2020 game from Barnes. This is our series. We might have uh, lost two of the first three games, but this is our series, baby. Jeremy's coming off the bench. T. Park is throwing me off. I'm thinking it's Tony. And we're going against the Spurs. And my mind is thinking it's Tony. Here we go. Two more games. One more game. It went to OT. Oh, my God. This game went to OT. A absolute classic. One more game. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. Come on. I need this. I need this. Here we go. Seven-man rotation. Off the bench, it's only Trent. And it's only Jack Washington. We got a we got a wing slash point guard and we got a center. Those we probably don't even need center minutes because we got two of the best bigs in basketball, seven three and seven two. Here we go, game seven. We got home court advantages at the UC. It's a good first half, not a great one, but a good one. Second half started off in the favor of the Chicago Bulls. We're about double digits. Just close it out. Just close it out. It's too close for comfort. We'll jump in. One point game with 40 seconds to go. Bulls have the ball. Um, they don't need to foul. The Spurs don't need to foul. They get a stop. They, they can win this game. Ah, they get a stop. They can win this game. Okay. All right. Find Don. Is he even on the court? I don't even know what they look like in the face. I just know the names. There's Don. Okay. Down to Judd, who gives it to Parker. Thank God. Parker tried to sell the game. Trent Parker is trying to sell. Oh, my God. Say both free throws, Trent. 
First one is up and it is good. Okay, Mr. Baldy. Second one is up and it is good. All right, get a stop, win the game. Get a stop, win the game. Short King Jameson with the ball. Look at the size difference between him and the guy guarding him. He's going right to the chest of Judd and draws the foul. Also, the All-NBA first team player, Jayshon Nicholson, has fouled out of the game. He had a triple-double, fouled out. So this is, we got to close it without our star, our 20-year-old star. This guy's perfect from the field so far in this, this game, nine for nine. I guess if you're that little when you get to the basket, you're going to get fouled a good amount. And that's what we see here from Jameson. All right, they're still in it. They just got to get a stop. There's more than enough time for them to get a stop and get a good shot to win it all. It's more than enough time. We got to get it in, Parker. Thank you. Norris gives it over to Myers, who, whew, he looking kind of loose with that ball. Whoa! Whoa, flagrant! That was not a basketball movement. Okay, he fouled him. I don't think he needed to. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, Myers is like a 90% free throw shooter, so these should be cash, and they are. All right. Draw up a play to get a three, a tie game. Here we go. Jameson with the ball again. No more two-for-one opportunities. They got to be hunting threes. They got to be hunting threes. Norris is not going for none of that BS no more. You got past him last possession. Never again. He did. But Judd is there for the block. Jameson sold the game. What else can we say? He sold the game. Myers has already knocked down some clutch with so far. Ladies and gentlemen, Chicago Bulls are going to walk out of here as NBA champions. It only took, what, five seasons, maybe six seasons to go out there and win a championship strictly through the draft. I mean, we, we did our trades. We did what we could do. And we're going to walk out as champions. Desmond Bain with the deep three. No good. And they're going to, okay, if they're going to foul, we're just going to simulate. Hey, we did our thing, baby. We did our thing. We walk out as champions. And Steve Dawson did not expect Steve Dawson to be game seven MVP. But 31 points. I mean, Jackson also did his thing, too. Shout out to him. Made, oh, my God. He missed two free throws down the stretch, I guess. Um, but, I mean, this is a guy that was a 13th overall pick from Florida State. Not known to be a scorer. Came out there game seven. Gave us 30 in a win. And the finals MVP goes to Jay Shot Nicholson, man. Wow, wow, wow. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. Took us a total of five seasons from the first overall pick here, Judd Barnes. Or third overall pick, Judd Barnes. He was amazing for us. Rookie of the year and defensive player of the year. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. And then last year's draft trading up to get, or I'm sorry, two years ago draft trading up to get Jay Sean Nicholson. Worked out perfectly. We built the perfect team. Leave a like, subscribe, man.